Hi y'all and welcome back to the Lips React channel. I'm Lips and today we are watching a movie I am so excited to watch. We are watching the movie Arrival. I have been obsessed with space movies and space themed content since I watched Interstellar. Um, and if you haven't seen my reaction to Interstellar, it was originally posted on my Lip Smacker channel, so it may not pop up directly on the Lips React stuff. I freaking loved that movie. It was so fun to watch. And I don't, it, something about it, something about the way the story unfolded and the science of it all and whatnot, it felt really easy to understand for someone who's not big into science, not a big science girly, doesn't really fully understand anything happening, but it didn't seem, the emotions felt realistic and the story felt just adventurous and big enough that it was bigger than real life but it was heartfelt and I don't know so I don't know if that's what Arrival will be but I've been enjoying a lot of space themed content since so I'm so excited to watch Arrival I've had this on my list for so long and I'm so excited to share that with you all if you want to watch the full length reaction you can hop on into Patreon for that Wherever you're watching this, however you're watching this, grab a beverage. I've got myself a large coffee. Grab a beverage, grab a snack maybe, and let's get into the movie. I used to think this was the beginning of your story. Memory is a strange thing. It doesn't work like I thought it did. We are so bound by time. Time, you say? Come back to me. Come back to me. Okay, so it's a mother-child relationship. These are my tickle guns, and I'm gonna get you. <laughs> this music is so emotional already. I remember moments in the middle. I love you. I hate you. Oh no. Oh my god. No, sweet baby. Hey, come back to me. There are days that define your story beyond your life. Like the day they arrived. Hmm. Today we are talking about Portuguese and why it sounds so different from the other Romance languages. What the hell is going on? The object uh, apparently touched down 40 minutes ago just now. A UFO? I'm learning that more objects like this have landed at as many as eight other locations around the world. Happening right now. Ah! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Actually, this is fascinating to think about what how the government would react if aliens did touch down and they told us <laughs> she is the only one who showed up isn't she <laughs> interesting character trait i'm colonel gt weber we never formally met, but two years ago, you did some Farsi translations for Army Intelligence. <gasps> Her language of, well, of course we're going to follow someone who's going to be involved. Duh! I have everyone's list when it comes to translations. And you have another two years in the SSBI, so you still have top secret clearance. <gasps> Whoa! I have something I need you to translate for me. It's just a growl. Come from. Now you heard it. 
What do you make of it? So that's a growl. Um, how many, um, speaking? Now, so how would you approach translating this? I'll approach it. I can tell you that it's impossible to translate from an audio file. I would need to be there to interact with them. She needs to read body language, maybe? I'm not taking you to Montana. It's all I can do to keep it from turning into a tourist site. If I leave here, your chance is gone. You mentioned Berkeley. Are you going to ask Danvers next? Maybe. Before you commit to him, ask him the Sanskrit word for war and its translation. <laughs> I don't think he's going to know it. What the hell? They're back! They want her ass. <laughs> language is the foundation of civilization it's the glue that holds the people together it is the first weapon drawn in a conflict that is that's true isn't it yeah well he wrote it yeah, but it's the kind of thing you write as a preface uh, dazzle them with the basics <laughs> well the cornerstone of civilization isn't language and science No, I actually disagree with that. I think it's language. I think it's communication. Just a handshake, binary sequence. How about we just talk to them before we start throwing math problems at them? This is why you're both here. Holy shit. Who's being uh, carted off in the medevac? Not everyone is able to process experiences like this. I didn't even see that. That is scary. If their atmosphere is different from Earth, it would certainly take hours to, to rebalance the O2 content and pressure for us every time they open their door. Oh. They could suffocate us if they wanted. Okay. That guy went right to the negative. What kind of radiation exposure are you walking into? Nominal. These are just for safety. So is there any physical contact with the... Um, am I the only one having trouble saying uh, aliens? <laughs> The way that it's standing feels illegal. Like it's defying gravity. Every 18 hours, the door opens up at the bottom. Every 18 hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. That's where we go in. The one guy was saying they might be trying to repressurize, which I think is a fair, fair thought. So the thing is just hovering off of the ground. Wouldn't you think that at any second it could just poof, kill everyone? Whoa, and then what? What? Well, that's different. Whoa. Whoa. All right, let's move. Time is wasting. You ready? I would be so scared it would close on them again. She can do it. <laughs> he said, you're doing it. Come on. What happens now? They arrive. They arrive? Okay. Sure. They just come through that. It's like octopus? You can start. Damn it. We didn't get to see it. They edged us. Am I fired? You're better than the last guy. Uh, oh. We both have to go zero two hundred hours to figure something out. Oh, so now we have eighteen hours to figure out how to communicate, I guess. Violence continues to spread across the U.S. today in the wake of the twelve landings. God. Their website claims the arrival of the aliens set in motion a prophecy that 12 sets of... That would definitely set off the, um, the cults, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'd be playing back some of their sounds. They play audio back at us from an unseen source. Whoa. Look, I'm never going to be able to speak 
the woods if they are talking. But they might have some sort of written language visual communication. That is smart. Yes. Where'd they go? The bird is an interesting aspect. They oh. Oh, it works. That's amazing. Okay, so these are like their letters, maybe? Hey, Dr. Banks, is this really the right approach? I have to explain to a room full of men whose first and last question is how can this be used against us? In 1770, Captain James Cook's ship ran aground off the coast of Australia. One of the sailors pointed at the animals that hop around and he asked what they were and the Aborigines said kangaroo. And that's what we call them to this day. Means I don't understand, so. Oh. I don't misinterpret things in there, otherwise this is gonna take 10 times as long. But I need you to submit your vocabulary words before the next session. <laughs> Remember what happened to the Aborigines? Fair. A more advanced race nearly wiped them out. That's sobering, yeah, okay. It's not true, but it proves my point. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. I love her. They can't seem to follow our algebra, but complex behaviors. That clicks. Oh, well, what complex behaviors? Or is that like a math? Problem is, not everyone shares our policy of being open with the aliens. Have you met General Shang? Oh, shit. These are all grade school words. Well, yeah, sir. So. First, we need to make sure that they understand what a question is. We want to know why they all landed. And purpose requires an understanding yeah. of intent. We need to find out, do they make conscious choices? I want to be heard when I grow up. We need to have enough vocabulary with them that we understand their answer. Yeah, we also have to understand them back. Don't add anything to it. She's going to add something to it. Oh, for human again. Just have a little curl on the end. Huh. I think they're getting confused. They could be. They might think her name is human. Bird. Then so you need to differentiate human and bird. You're risking contamination. They need to see me. Dr. Banks. She is so confident. Should we abort? They need to see she's different. The little orange suits, they all look the same. Oh. I am Louise. Ian, you want to introduce yourself? Screw it. Let's go. Those are their names, okay. Wow. What are we going to call them? I was thinking Abbott and Costello. <laughs> She, oh, a memory, a memory, like they said at the beginning. I mean, yeah, oh, wait, hold on. That just made me think of something. Let's be real. We, we, we communicate with elements that don't know how to communicate the same as us often. We communicate with babies. No radiation, nothing else we can detect either. First time we've made significant progress. Oh. Wow. Yeah, they have to get down to the, like, nitty gritty of it. Oh, she's having a lot of memory flashbacks right now. Who are they? Trying to answer this in any meaningful way is hampered by the fact that the heptapods leave absolutely no footprint. <laughs> Assuming that the shells communicate wow. with each other, they do so without detection. Holy crap. Why did they park where they did? 
The next most plausible theory is that Sheena Easton had a hit song at each of these sites in 1980. <laughs> the first breakthrough was to discover that there's no correlation between what a heptapod says and what a heptapod writes. They understand. Yes. We have our friends in Pakistan to thank for their study of how heptapods write. That's cool that they're using the the knowledge from the other countries. I'm glad they they looped that in. A heptapod can write a complex sentence in two seconds effortlessly. That's wild. Next, expanding vocabulary. Louise thinks it could easily take another month. I feel like it would take a minute. You approach language like a mathematician, you know that. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm single. Trust me, you can uh, understand communication and still end up single. I feel like everything that happens in there comes down to the two of us. Feels like it right now. First photograph of the aliens goes viral. How did they get that? What's this word? Hmm. See, I do think that she is as powerful, as good at this as she is because she had a daughter and she had to teach her daughter how to communicate. Oh, but that is giving her an emotional breakdown. That's like, um, the a picture book. It's you and dad. The show is called Mommy and Daddy Talk to Animals. We've never met the father in the... We both love you very much. I know. It's just a cartoon. Not real. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Mm. If you immerse yourself into a foreign language that you can actually rewire your brain. The language you speak determines how you think. And... Oh. I'm curious. Are you dreaming in their language? I don't think that that makes me unfit to do this job. Oh. I think she's in the middle of a dream right now. He's saying that each of the 12 is offering advanced technology. An hour ago, China mobilized forces. Shit. Colonel, those are all tile sets in Mahjong. Are they using a game to converse with their heptapods? They could be. Every conversation would be a game, every idea expressed through opposition. Victory, defeat, you see the problem. Yeah, contention. We need to ask the big question. Ready or not? Are we ready? Not even a little bit, huh? Heptapod's purpose. Offer weapon. We Offer what then? They understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Go back in. Right away, we go back in and we, we clear this it's, up. It's more complicated than that. How is it more complicated than that? Secretary of Defense is on the line for you. That's why it's more complicated than that. So we have to consider the idea that our visitors are prodding us to fight among ourselves until only one faction prevails. That's such a boring thought. It's impossible to deal with just one of us. And with the word weapon now. <gasps> to, weapon to you. We don't know that it means the same thing to them. I don't know. I don't feel malicious energy from them. China and Russia are off the grid. They aren't speaking to anyone. Whatever they learned in their last session has them spooked. Wow. We have orders to do the same. Wait, these are our Girl, allies. Colonel, you can't shut us Put down. Put us on radio silence. God damn it. We need to be talking to each other. You want to talk to yeah. them find out what this means. Oh, man. If your problem is that you don't have one leader for the entire world, then why would you isolate yourself? That's such a dumb thought process. Use weapon. This is the alien message said to have provoked the Chinese government. So they got the same answer. China no longer trusts the aliens who want to divide us. Okay. Okay, I am okay, okay. I guess I'm being harsh because I just don't feel like there's a malicious energy, but it is scary and there are right to feel a fear. Well, no, is that a bomb? <gasps> no. No. Just need five minutes. Don't sweat it. Marks. Let him go. Let him go. There's a what? There's a bomb. They're gonna get killed. Oh my god. They don't even know there's a bomb in there. 
Are you offering us something? Visitor friends, have to pods offer, give, donate, award. <gasps> What's he doing? Bomb. He's trying to. I think he's trying to tell them about the bomb. He's pointing. Have it wants me to ride on the barrier. Oh. In their language? Flashback. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Holy crap. Oh wow. <gasps> oh my god, they saved them. Oh my god. They saved their lives. Who did this? Uh, some soldiers. They've been watching too much TV. <gasps> the soldiers did it on their own? We need to go back in and we need to explain to them that this wasn't our we, fault. We can't we go back inside. Them. We have to. We can hope for the best, but I have orders to prepare for retaliation. Uh-uh. As long as they stay, we have to stay. Yes. And on cue, they are leaving. Evil. Oh, they just went a little higher. Well, they're not leaving. They just are cutting off. Tonight, China becomes the first world power to declare war against the aliens. That's so sad that the world is just not communicating through this. Uh, what's this term, like a technical term? Where we make a deal and we both get something out of it. Like a win-win. More science than that. If you want science, call your father. The memories are helping in some way, though, I think. It seems to be talking about time. Their symbol for time is everywhere. Mm. How much of this is data? How much of it is negative space? Oh. One of 12. Is that this is one of 12. We are part of a larger whole. Or we're one of 12 contestants for the prize. He's comes at it so aggressively. In case you don't remember, we're blacked out. We're on our own. But this says that all of the pieces fit together. And I'm telling you that no one else cares. Make them care. The alien said, there is no time. Many become one. I fear we have all been given weapons. Is Russia just executed one of their own experts to keep <gasps> their secrets. God damn it, Russia. Hand it out to us in pieces. Why not just give it all over? What better way to force us to work together for once? Even if I did believe you, how in the world are you going to get anybody else to play along and give up their data? I don't know. Maybe you can try to help out, dude. A trade? It's a non-zero-sum game. Non-zero-sum game. That's the scientific word. Non-zero-sum game. That's it. Yeah. Non-zero-sum game. Win-win. What we need is to get all the other nations online before one starts global war. And there's no way for us to reach them. Well, hold on a second. There is. It's right above us. We use the heptapods to communicate. Ooh. <gasps> they sent her a pod. They trust her. Oh, that's so scary. <coughs> what the hell? Hi! Whoa! Where's Abbott? Death process? Abbott is dying? I'm sorry. Oh, that's why in that last meeting... <gasps> oh, because of the explosion. I need you to send a message to the other sites. Uh... Luis has weapon. What weapon? Use weapon. I don't understand. What? 
is your purpose here? What do they think is a weapon? Of course they're here to help humanity. Not malicious. In 3,000 years, we need humanity help. Oh. I don't understand. Who is this child? The show is called Mommy and Daddy Talk to Animals. Your child, Louise sees future. Her child died. Weapon opens time. It's not clicking for me yet. Were her memories not memories? I don't understand. What the... Help me, Mama. Please. <sighs> Mom. I don't understand either. But I want to cry. Are you going to leave me like Daddy did? You're going to see him this weekend. He doesn't look at me the same way anymore. I told him something that he wasn't ready to hear. I know something that's going to happen. And when I told your daddy, he got really mad. And he said I made the wrong choice. Well, shit. What? I've what's lost... Going to happen? sense of time and space in this movie it has to do with uh, a really rare disease kind of like you are i am unstoppable what the hell is going on i'm hanging on by a thread right now and i can't explain it there's just something something tapped something emotional in me and i can't figure out I just realized why my husband left me. My husband left me. Are you married? <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. Whoa. Well, look, that does seem freaking bad. What's my name, Hannah? It reads the same forward and backward. Clue us in, girly, please. Oh my god. The memories were the future. The weapon is their language. If you learn it, when you really learn it, you begin to perceive time the way that they do. So, so you can see what's to come. Oh my god. It, it isn't the same for them. It's non-linear. If you understand the language, you see the world differently. Dr. Banks. General Shang, the pleasure is mine, really. The only reason why I'm here is to meet you in person. Eighteen months ago, you did something remarkable. Well, what's that? You changed my mind. <laughs> You're the reason for this unification. All because you reached out to me on my private number. Wow. Your private number, General, I, I don't know your private number. 18 months ago, but... Now you know. Because time isn't linear. Because time you, isn't linear. I? Yes, you did. Because she can understand the heptapod language. And so now she's going to call the General. There's a sat line here dialing China. Come on, come on. It's your phone, sir. <laughs> She's gonna save the world. I will never forget what you said. Tell her what she said, please. You told me my wife's dying words. <laughs> With guns? Drop it! Yeah, I'm sorry. You're quite feel shocked. You are committing an act of treason. Oh my god, an act of treason? She did it. She saved the world. General Shang, Commander-in-Chief of the People's Liberation Army, has announced in an emergency press conference that China is standing down. <laughs> Let's go! Intelligence they have received will be shared immediately with... Let's go!
Oh my god, are they just dissolving? And they did what they needed to do and now... And now they're gone. They just evaporated. I almost feel like I need to watch this movie backwards to understand the full thing. <laughs> Hannah. This is where your story begins. The day they departed. Despite knowing the journey and where it leads, I embrace it. And I welcome every moment of it. <gasps> she already knew her daughter was going to die. She embraced it anyway. That's why we never saw the dad at the beginning, huh? Zian is the dad. You okay? He's gonna roll over you. Uh. Oh. Oh. Are you ready? <sighs> they weren't memories, technically, but they were all at the same time. If you could see your whole life from start to finish, would you change things? Maybe I'd say what I feel more often. I, I don't. <laughs> you know what surprised me the most? I what? wasn't meeting them. I wasn't meeting you. <laughs> I forgot how good it felt to be held by you. He's gonna think she's lost her goddamn mind. You wanna make a baby? <laughs> I'm gonna need roughly about 30,000 years to uh, recover from that. <laughs> God. Oh my God. That movie was a trip. That movie was an experience. The storytelling in that was so good. I don't know why it was so emotional. It really is just, I don't know. I don't know why that hit a nerve with me. What a movie, though. <sighs> storytelling. God, it's that was some incredible storytelling. And it, well shot, well produced, well performed. I just, I don't know. I felt in it. It felt real, you know? I felt immersed and... captivated it was stunning it was a stunning movie I, th I, th I think I'll think about that one a lot I'll think about that movie a lot god it was good though that was so good thank you for joining me on this adventure that was truly that was something and I'm so grateful to have experienced that with you so thank you for joining me I can't wait to hear your thoughts. I'm just, I, I just think it was, I don't know. I'm just in it. I'm just still in it right now in the, in the feelings of it. So, <sighs> which is my favorite way to feel after a movie. I like to feel like my soul was immersed and then feel like I am grasping for questions and answers and, and peace and comfort. After a story, I like to feel so, like I was so immersed in it that I became it. That's what I'm always looking for. And this was so good. This was such a good example of what, a, a, how a story can, can fold you in and hold you and then leave you feeling empty at the end, but not in a negative way, in a way of like, you've lost a piece of you almost. Um... I don't know. I I feel like that story impacted my soul and I, I think it'll take me 30,000 years to figure out how and why, but I love it. So thank you, Arrival, for being what you were. That was incredible. That was an incredible experience. Uh, I would love to rent out a movie theater and just watch that movie again. That was wild. That was so good. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I'm Lips.
check down all the links down below for where you can find me elsewhere and like and subscribe if you like the content I'm going to go be a puddle of time and space, and I'll see you in the next one.